Welcome, Drink With James, episode 33. Welcome, Drink With James, episode 67. A very special episode 48. We got Wendy from Wendy's Lookbook here. Drink With James, episode 72. Episode 77. Episode 61. <sighs> Bonjour! Drink With James, episode 49. We got Erica Hoyt over here, some fashion, chic styling. Episode 63, featuring our Ooh. good friends from <laughs> Wait, wait, like I get it at the bottle in the right place. Yes. Love Clicquot. Sydney Fazan, like Shazam, is here with us. All right, welcome to Drink with James. Episode, I don't know, because Tim's not here. It's episode 64. Your best episode. Live, yet. maybe, we'll see. <laughs> I promised you guys a handsome man. I fucking delivered on it. We got Luke Detella here. I am with not any guy named Patrick. <laughs> not just a guy named Patrick but the guy named Patrick in his beautiful apartment in Soho. Again, we are at the obscenely beautiful and lovely Meadowood Resort in Napa. Episode 35, Coors Light Edition. Drink with James, episode 37. Ladies and gentlemen, I've traveled halfway across the state today to be with you. I have 30,000 influencers posting six times a day. And I think if <laughs> We got Michelle from Michelle Takes Aim here. I've been trying to get Take her on- Take Aim. The Take Aim, sorry. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have for episode 76 of Drink With James, Jamie Beck, Ann Street Studio, photographer, finite photographer. Provo what? Hold it by the stove. Oh. It's a better sound. Today's a tough day, okay? Uh, our, our new orange overlord was sworn in as president. And, you know, he won the election saying that he was a man of the people. And you guys may not know this, but I too am a man of the people. I do miss the palatial estate that I was staying at. That is true, coming back to my tenement apartment. Uh, I got into a bicycle accident on Saturday. Basically it was my fault, I wasn't looking. I ran into a crackhead. Episode 58, like maybe I could just do a little hand puppetry. And I dress for the weather that I'm given, not the month of the year. My mother, like many of yours, I'm sure, always told me to dress for the job I wanted, not the one I have. So the job I want this week is going to the Met Gala. Now, I understand the event is tonight, and no, I haven't received the invite yet, but I am holding out hope. If you send me booze, I will drink it. On location, we're in South Georgia here on Sea Island at the Cloister. We're here for the Southern Sea Conference. I'm speaking tomorrow, uh, kind of doing a Drink With James Live situation. I get back from vacation, people are always like, was it hard to get back? And I'm like, no motherfucker, I live in New York City. I just got back from Paris. Excuse me if I just randomly slip into French. Episode 74 of Drink With James. It's Halloween. I'm just as Daniel Plainview from There Will Be Blood. A masterpiece, if you haven't seen it. Um, do I need to do the whole thing again? Yeah, do not I don't know if I can bring the same energy. Tim and I are in full-blown concert mode. This is like, Timothy and I are not at Paris Fashion Week. We are here in New York doing the Lord's work. Uh, we are now, I think on week two of the mustache, uh, which I thought I was gonna shave off immediately after my costume. Which, if you ever do find yourself in this resort, first of all, you're obviously doing quite well in life, so congratulations. But if, if America was an influencer, I think that there'd be there's certainly a lot of contouring videos to be watching. There'd be a lot of fine lines to be covering up. It would be the cost of a nice dinner, but not like the best dinner of your life. So, how y'all doing? Welcome to Drink With James. Um, as you can see, I'm back in the conference room. I am a little bit upset about it. You know, Tim and I's time on the croquet lawn has sadly come to a close. It is Drink With James Cribs Edition. As you know, I was in France last week. Uh, if you didn't see it, then joke's on you because I haven't even been on my vacation yet but I'm sure it's gonna be impossibly chic. We're talking about influencers, what are we doing? So, I'm back the way I wanna be, alone, without anyone else to take the attention. This is the second live one. Rach Martino, who we can't, I know we can't spin around, but she's in the audience. She was live episode number one, and we got <laughs> just irresponsibly drunk and talked for 85 minutes. Um, <laughs> and Tim was like, you gotta cut it. Like people are literally 
dying in the audience. I was like, <laughs> shut up, Tim. <laughs> Whenever I wear this suit, which is like three times a year, I feel like I'm in a costume. I, f I should be like selling you um, fried chicken. We are expanding. We're getting new desks today. Very exciting. The team is growing. Hopefully I am shrinking. Spring is coming. Bathing suit season is upon us. <sighs> Do I have my white? Yeah, so you can only play croquet in all white, obviously. Um, I'm going to, I think, what is probably my first ever college football game. So I've been mood boarding. What is my look gonna be? Historically, champagne has been a celebratory beverage. Uh, most Americans are, well, most Americans are Neanderthals. I could literally film every drink with James here. Um, so if y'all like have budget and you wanna just send me out once a month, I can film four of these at once, you know, just like it'll be, it'll be great. Welcome, Drink With James, episode 73, live from the LA Athletic Club. We are at the LA Influencer Conference. We got Evelina here. We got a bunch Woo. of people in the audience. Let's hear it, people. Woo. Please keep those questions coming because without it, I'm just sitting here talking about myself, which is totally fine, less relatable for you. An influencer sent this to me. This is a lesson for all of you. Um, I'm not above saying that if you send me a bottle of whiskey, I'll probably mention your name on the show. So thank you, Paula. Drake's album, what can we learn from that? Right? But yeah, this is only my second mustache experience. Uh, enjoying it more than the first. So we have another classic move that we do far too often, which is Tim schedules Drink With James filming for the day after one of our events. I get overserved at those events, wake up supremely hungover, can't be bothered to like put a suit on um, and refuse to put more alcohol into my body for at least 24 hours. So it's nice to be here because you guys see that sometimes my life is quite difficult. I know that sometimes you look at me and you think, oh, you seem to have a really nice life. You know, you're on the private plane with net jets going down to Miami. But it's not all fun and games, you know? As you can see, sometimes I too struggle and things are difficult. And, and I think I'm trying to be very honest about that so you guys don't get uh, discouraged in, in your struggles. So just keep pushing through. Anyway, long story short, Happy 2018. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sending your questions. And we'll see you guys next year.